Well, hey, Internet, this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. I'm glad to have you here. So how are you all doing? I hope you're having a great week. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to bring in all the material that I have in the other shipping container that's been in storage for about a year and a half and stage it in here. Now that I have the uh, drywall roughed in, and of course it's not, I don't have the, the plaster on it, but I, I'm all done plastering, I'm bored with it for the moment, so I wanna do something fun. And what's fun is design. And that's the whole purpose of a house, right? So um, what we've been doing here is we've been living in the front part of the uh, house right here. This was originally designed to be an office area, but uh, it's my home, like what? 12 by 10, 12 by 8 foot home. So, and I'm grateful to have it. It is cozy, and the view out there, you can't see it, but at night we see the stars and everything. Well, worth it. All right, so what I'm going to do first is move this bed because it's the biggest thing, and the real bedroom in my vision was back here. But if it ends up that the bedroom is better in the front because of light or heat or anything i'll put my office here but to make that decision i think we need to live here don't you i do so anyway the next thing is to bring the bed and then if i bring the bed i don't know if the headboard will be there or there or somewhere in between i'm not sure how to make all this happen so i'm going to set you up over there in that corner and run a speed stop motion on it and uh we'll start carrying stuff in it'll take a while but we'll get this all set up here roughed in. All right, internet, so uh, I'm still shooting the stop motion over there. You'll see Leah making the bed, but uh, let's have a little discussion just on what we accomplished. So here we go. Uh, if indeed this office part will be an office, and that was how I envisioned it, but it was a very cozy bedroom. And Lee and I talked about it really should maybe stay a bedroom. It might be the cool end of the house because the evening sun's gonna come in over there. And when I have all glass there, it's going to warm this spot up. Well, and there's no shelf. And that was one thing that I liked about that. Is that shelf oh, the shelf there. was there and was super there handy. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. And so that was the other spot where I thought we could put a bed. But now that I designed that that way, it's going to be like those windows be. at the Airbnb. That was I can't. Too I can't put it there. But that was my thought. So this spot will have a. Um, it will have a uh, hanging lamp over it from there, or with a clicky. This a clicky is clicky. office. This screen. But um, I could put a shelf in. We'll we'll see. My original this idea was this is a bedroom, but I agree with you. It's not very functional. So, and uh, we're, we'll live in this for I I don't know a week to make an honest opinion. So that does look good from back here. It, it, the house still feels open. It's only eight foot, and honestly, this is a pretty, pretty cozy eight foot. No, completely. But this just the cedar, the beams. You know, uh, the way I work because I work with Ireland and stuff. I do all my work in the morning and the afternoon. So when the afternoon heat starts pouring in, I want to be a component of it. And right now, we have one of the doors drawn closed simply to allow us to work. With and they're both glass and I open it. Wow, scorcher. All right, but let's keep working. I'm gonna bring in the Victrola. I'm gonna bring in the brown sofa. The last thing I'm gonna do is move my desk, so we'll leave that in place for a while. Um, I gotta get, um, you know what? I've gotta get my... Um, this is gonna be the office, right? It is, and I have to get my um, track. So, so you um, can put your, okay, so let's talk about the Victrola. So the Victrola will go here. 
Okay, here will go the brown sofa. Yeah, here is where I thought it, but I, instead I think the mid-century modern shelf here. Yes. And the brown sofa there. Well, if the brown sofa's there, then, you know, when we watch our movies, we can I, sit on Oh, we could sofa. retire. This could continue to be a movie-watching room. Yes. And we'd retire Reti to the bedroom. Because that's how it always happens. Well, I, you know, I don't like computers, and I've said that before. I don't like any electronics in a bedroom, not even a clock. We didn't have a TV in a I, would, I don't even like a clock in it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I like okay. That. I, we, like I like that. this. We'll talk and about this idea. 100% truthful, this is the coolest part of the, of the Connex, is this is the coolest part. As I mean, in temperature-wise. Temperature-wise, yeah. yeah, I don't mean it. Yeah. Like, but yeah. Also coolest. And this will be the primary door to get in and out. This room back here doesn't have a door to get into the main hall. So we set up roughly where the sink will be. And I have this terracotta sink, which I really like. Uh, maybe, maybe not use it. We don't know. All right, let me go ahead and um, continue on. All right, Internet. Here we go. Steve and Leah show. We got uh, all the furniture that I want to move in to the um, semi-finished shipping container we're gonna lay it out we're just gonna live in it think about it uh, I'm missing the Victrola which I'll bring in which is actually a high-end uh, record player system and I've got a bunch of really nice records yes. so we'll get that uh, but everything's loaded up I don't have my fork truck here today it's at a different uh, location so uh, it's all loaded up we're gonna drive it in and unload it in the uh, the container so I'll put you back on stop motion while we do that and uh, I'm pretty tired moving's hard work let me tell you well plus I've done logging and whatnot I'll I'll show you another little thing so you won't think I've cry baby <clears throat> well, I am a little bit so uh, but uh, it's really a physically demanding and I, I you know I've told everybody I'm not a young dude so look, looky there. So I'm going to turn that old water tank, of course, into a, a, a press, a roller press with a concrete in it. But uh, look at the size of these logs that I've got. Man, they're going to make something. And then there's a ton and a half of uh, concrete step paver. So there we go. So that was late last night plus painting. So I'm feeling the results of several days of working late. So, all right, let me set you up on stop motion. All right, so now that we cleared it out a little bit, so it's not the Monica storage thing. Earlier, right, I couldn't even walk in here, right, Maria? Uh, nope. Sorry about that. So this will be my galley kitchen way back there. A bonus room here. Solar here. And then mechanicals, tools here for now. Eventually, it'll be a washer and dryer. So what I'm doing is I'm emptying the path so that I can get a sofa, some tables, maybe a mid-century modern shelf. And then the Victrola is here, which is actually a modern record player. Yeah, but we can move all that out of the way. Yeah, we'll, we'll move on. We need to heavy up. You know, I'm going to get too tired to do this in about 20 minutes, and we're going to take a break. It's hard work to, to be in storage. This is not for the faint of heart, right, Leah? I'm enjoying it, though. I will say that. I'm having fun. Don't listen to him. What? <laughs> okay, Internet, here we are. Three and a half hours into the new layout. 
So the office is done. So there's my Victrola and you could see that I did a uh, put in a uh, stereo system in there. It's not high end, but looky there everybody. Past Steve knew what he's doing. Look how I covered, look how I did that. Ooh, isn't that nice? And then this is my stereo system here. It comes out through there, my speaker system does. Sounds pretty good. All right, so that's done. We'll set that up. We'll test the AC tonight. All right, this is set up. The bathtub's in place. I'm liking the flow. Yes, I do too. This might be our bedroom when we're all done. So, uh, looky there how nice this looks. Uh, so those are just propped into place. I didn't cut them. I did safety toggle them from the top. Hey Leah, could I ask you to do one thing? Sure. Could you go around and push on the doors like you're a strong wind and see if you can push them in? And I'll guard them on this side. Now there's, they're not screwed on the bottom, but that's pretty strong, isn't it? Yeah. So things can get around the edge, but I don't feel like Gorilla taping that much. But my gosh, that will look good. It's all dirty right now. I've got a screen for this that I can't find that's here, so we had to cobble a screen in for the night. The bed's in place. Uh, it still needs a little settling in, but not half bad. Uh, again, we're just doing this for design. This isn't a final anything, but a cozy little ensuite. This is my bedroom, and then between the two connexes will be a great hall. And then the, my other connex that you saw that's all torn up, that'll be my kitchen. Pretty good. Let's go outside and look at those doors. They are beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that's going to look real good. Real good. I'll get some stairs on there. And the uh, the external doors will be kind of a Spanish Mission Castle door vibe. Yes. Look at that. It's beautiful. It is. It is. It's absolutely gorgeous. So the, the one, this window here is a solid window. And uh, with the screen at the top. And I'm really debating getting, finding a window with a screen that matches. Yeah. Or maybe even get, um, you know, get a French style window pane that we can crank out. Mm -hmm. A whole length crank out window with a screen in it. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be cool. Yep. All right. Well, poor Leah had to put up with me being so tired that I'm a little on the cranky side. Just a little bit. Just on a the little. Cranky. Just a little. I'm ex I'm way beyond exhausted. Yeah. So, uh, but there you go. Thank you yeah. for uh, hanging out with us while we do this design. Now we'll live in it. We'll think about it. We'll appraise it. Um, there, Look how cool it looks through the actual. It door. really does. There is nothing that we're obligated to. Yeah. So, you know, the sky's the limit for changes. But we already really like this. So we'll. Uh, I think we hit on the design. We'll find out.